of the Winchura, the stock Winchura 750 from Windy Nation is a 24 volt turbine so I have that selected here generating uh, 1193 kilowatt hours a year if you have a 12 mile an hour average wind speed in your area and you keep your turbine at 10 meters height. I also added the uh, the super ant version as number 8 here so you can see uh, the stock one will generate about 3.3 kilowatt hours per day if I go up to this use the super amp which is just a 12 volt system so it'll be a little less power but quite good for a 12 volt system it'll do a 1029 or 2.8 per day or if I just use the stock 750 on a 12 volt system which we know it's not really designed for but you can use it on a 12 volt battery select that as number seven and you can see it drops down to 1.9 or 684 so from this I've been able to gen generate some curves for the Winchura that'll be helpful for those people that own a Winchura or are looking to buy one so let's check that out alright so here's a little background on the Winchura 750 it's a two meter class rotor size real nice unit it's got a sealed PMA so you don't have to worry about any of the weather getting in there which tend to ruin some of the other PMAs that don't have uh, any kind of sealing. Uses a stainless, stainless steel hub and fasteners. It has a uh, aluminum grade, uh, aircraft grade aluminum blades. Very strong. Never had a problem with any of them. It's got a nice furling mount so you don't have to worry about the high winds either damaging the turbine itself or blowing over your tower. If you have a wind turbine and you don't have any kind of furling basically this this high speed blades and high winds basically can create a lot of force on the pole and if you're using like a one and a half inch pipe to hold up your turbine there's a good chance that it's in high winds it's actually going to blow over so having a furling system allows the blades to kind of furl out of the way and you'll keep uh, less pressure on the uh, the mounting pipe 
and it should survive the storm. Uh, it also includes a slip ring, three phase slip ring. It comes completely powder coated, unlike a lot of the other cheaper turbines on the market that have no painting on them at all, which means uh, you better paint them or uh, they're going to rust out pretty quickly, but unfortunately if you do paint them, you're going to void your warranty. So that's one advantage with going uh, with something that's already painted or powder coated. In the case of a Winchura, they got a two year warranty on them and uh, basically no questions asked if you have any problems. And it has a high current three phase wiring uh, coming out of the PMA. Now there's two different PMA types. The one that's traditionally been on there has been the, this style here, which I'm labeling the 75024. Like I mentioned, you can also use it with a 20, 12 volt battery bank. You won't get as much power out of it, but uh, you can certainly still use it. It's rated uh, with a 24 volt case at 800 watts at 29 miles an hour, and at the 12 volt case, it's rated at 470 at 29 miles an hour. And there's test data that supports this. The one thing that's important is uh, it has about 10 pounds of copper inside, which is unlike a car PMA, which doesn't even have two pounds of copper. And that's really the name of the game, to have enough volume for magnets and copper inside the PMA to actually produce the power that's advertised. Now a new version of the PMA that just came out is called the Super Amp. It's, a, it's designed to be optimized for 12 volts, mainly so that this 12 volt 750 over here, which only got to 470 watts, with the same setup, blades and so forth, the super amp is able to get 665 watts at 29 miles an hour. So if you have a 12 volt system, this is the turbine to look for. So now let's look at some of the charts. All right, so here's the power curves for those three different configurations of the 750. You got the best one up here, which is the stock 750 PMA with the 24 volt battery bank. As we said, it generated 29 miles an hour. It's rated at 800 watts. You can see the actual test data shows it did better than that. Then you got the super amp on a 12 volt battery bank here in red, and then the stock 750 running a 12 volt battery bank in the blue line here. Uh, one important thing to note is it is generating good power uh, well below ten, uh, 12 miles an hour. You can see even the, at the 24 volt battery bank because of the size it's even able to generate up to 100 watts. And as I shown in some of the prior videos, car PMAs don't even tend to start producing until uh, about that 12 to 13 range where a turbine like this is able to generate power down at the 8 mile an hour range no problem. If you want to translate this into current, which is what you might see on your meter, the 750 at the 29 miles an hour will generate 30 amps into a 24 volt battery bank, which is quite substantial. The super amp will do 42 at 29, <coughs> and the stock 750 <coughs> into a 12 volt battery bank will do 33. So there's some comparison numbers. Now let's get into taking some data for, that I had from my new spreadsheet that I did that calculates what the average annual uh, kilowatt hours produced is based on the average wind speed in your area. So here's how that data all plots out. I had to do several iterations on each of them to come up with the, the proper curves here, but you can use this as a point of reference. And you can see the 750 at uh, 12 miles an hour. We'll do about uh, 10, 1,007, or excuse me, it looks like it'd be about uh, 1,200 kilowatt hours in a year, or about 100 kilowatt hours a month, which is pretty nice. Uh, and a little bit less for the other two. So, what the idea would be is you take the average wind speed in your area, and you can go up to either one of these lines based on the configuration that you bought or are considered buying, buying and you get an idea of what the annual kilowatt hour produced would be. <coughs> that was at a 10 meter height. Now let's look at what it is with a 12 and a half 
mile per hour average wind speed based on how high you have it off the ground. So it's basically the same data, but it's just adjusted either up or down from the from the 10 meter height, which is about 33 feet right up in here. You attenuate it down if you're lower than that height and you increase it if you're higher than that height. So this gives a little bit more information for this tur these turbine types with an average wind speed of 12 and a half miles an hour uh, adjusting for what the, the turbine height would be. If I then do the same thing and do it at a 10 and a half average wind speed area you can see what the data is there. So you just have to stop the video kind of take a look at what it would be in your case somewhere between the you know the ten and a half picture and the twelve and a half picture <clears throat> and just as a point of reference if you had a uh, ten and a half mile per hour average wind speed and you're using a sixty inch car PMA they're significantly lower than what the Winchero would be doing at that ten meter height or at any at any hub height actually. This is about 245 kilowatt hours in a year shown um, in comparison. So compare that to the stock 750 it's about almost four to one improvement just having a more superior overall design. Alright, that's all I wanted to share for today. Good luck with your wind projects and I'll talk to you later.